What's going on guys? Danny here from Metal Couch, and yes, I still exist, and yes, I'm still going to be reviewing albums, and yes, I get your mail every day asking, where the hell is such and such review? Well, today I'm going to be reviewing something from Megadeth, and no, it's not Super Collider, I'm not going to touch that one again. Countdown to Extinction is a classic Megadeth album. It was the first Megadeth album I had ever heard and back in the day that was it was a pretty cool album. I enjoyed listening to that album very much when I was around 10, 11 years old was when I was introduced to it and it was one of the, it was the album that introduced me to well, it's not necessarily thrash, but a band that was from that era, part of the big four of thrash. And Countdown to Extinction recently had an anniversary, and Mustaine decided to make a live release for Countdown to Extinction, playing it in its entirety live. Now, if you go really far back with this channel, the very first review I had ever done was the Rust in Peace Live Blu-ray. This one, I didn't buy the Blu-ray or anything like that. I just decided to listen to the CD release since it was free to stream on Spotify. They were advertising it a whole bunch in my inbox. So I decided, you know what, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. Now, something to note about this live release, and I remember reading this probably about a month ago, how Mustaine, due to his voice and his age, they've had to start detuning their guitars down to D. Which, no biggie there, Metallica's been doing it for years to accommodate Hetfield's voice, so I didn't really think that this would be that big of an issue when it came to live recordings or anything like that. Countdown to Extinction Live is the first officially released live album which features this setup. And I have to say, when it comes to the quality of this live recording, other than Mustaine's voice, which you can which for the longest time now we've been able to notice is becoming increasingly weak, these songs in detuning sound pretty fucking awesome. Uh, the album opens up with Trust, which I have to say is definitely the highlight of these uh, of the drop tuning for Megadeth. I didn't exactly know what to make. It was almost like listening to somebody on YouTube with very high quality equipment deciding to put their own take on a Megadeth song, but, you know, of course, putting it in D. And the recording quality of Countdown to Extinction Live compared to its sister release, Rust in Peace Live, much, much better. I completely hate the way the guitars sound on the Rust in Peace Live Blu-ray. Way too much treble. It, it's a chore to listen to because it's just so weird sounding and it's there's you listen to it and it's like there's nothing right about this. This isn't Megadeth. This is this is a sound issue. Somebody should be fired. On Whoever's on the mixer should be fired. But this live recording, much different. Live at the Fox Theater, which I'm not exactly sure where that is or where this was recorded. But to start out, you have Trust, Hangar 18, and Public Enemy being played uh, in D. So, and then he decides to go into a nice little uh, introduction for Countdown to Extinction, talking about the album and you go right in through. Now, Countdown to Extinction is a love-hate album for me. Um, even though it was the first album I ever listened to, this was where Megadeth had this genesis of becoming very radio-friendly. It's the era of, it's the beginning of the era of Megadeth that I don't really enjoy because of that radio-friendliness. They lose a lot of their, their punch, their bite, in favor of, well, this single sold so many copies. So, you get Skin of My Teeth, Symphony of Destruction, Architecture of Aggression, Foreclosure of a Dream, Sweating Bullets, This Was My Life, Countdown to Extinction, High Speed Dirt, Psychotron, Captive Honor, Ashes in Your Mouth. You get the full album. Everything's there. Some of the highlights when it comes to the, this live recording in particular, uh, this is a very nice rendition of Skin of My Teeth. Definitely one of the better ones that I've heard over the years. Definitely check that one out. It's better than the Big Four. It, it, I think I don't even think that was on the Rust in Peace Blu-ray, but it was better than the version that was played at the Big Four for sure. Psychotron is one of my favorite songs off of the album. Really highlighted there. High Speed Dirt too. Even though there are some notes within that song in the original recording which require a very high-pitched voice, Mustaine still pulls it off surprisingly with High Speed Dirt. Captive Honor being played. I don't think I've ever heard that song played live until now, which is another one of those good songs. 
And then you have Ashes in Your Mouth, which is hands down my favorite track off of the album being played. And then to close out the live performance, you have uh, She-Wolf, Peace Cells, and Holy Wars. Typical songs that Megadeth would play on their way out. How is this live recording compared to others? It's better than the Rust in Peace Blu-ray, but I find that when you go back to, say, Blood in the Water or Rude Awakening, not so much that one night. That one night is another one of those things where it's like the guitars sound really weird. I don't quite understand why they were mixed that way. But it's enjoyable. If you love Countdown to Extinction, you will probably like this live record. Uh, I know that I enjoyed it, and after the abomination that was Super Collider, I think this was something that I had to listen to in order to go, okay, I, I need something to cleanse the palate when it comes to Megadeth, and this pulled it off nicely. This Countdown to Extinction. I, I really kind of want to look at the live video now just to see how well that was shot. But when it comes to the CD itself... I really enjoyed this release. If I were to give it a score, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. Um, nothing really to comment on when it comes to the quality of the audio. Mostly it's just due to the fact that the band has aged. You know, Mustaine's in his 50s now. Who knows how long he's going to be doing this, even though he's already talking about making another album. Personally, I think he should take a break. That's one of the problems with Super Collider is the fact that when it comes to Megadeth's writing process, it's, okay, we put out an album, we're going to tour with it for six months, and then we're going to start recording another album. Guys, slow down, write material, like, like take a year off to just do nothing but write material, and watch and see how much better those songs would be. I guarantee you, if Megadeth were to take a year-long hiatus to do nothing but write music, it would be, it would probably be a much better product than say Super Collider or Thirteen. So eight out of ten for me. I really enjoyed this Countdown to Extinction live album. I really want to check out the live video now. I may even pick up the Blu-ray after this. So definitely give this a listen if you're a Megadeth fan. Danny here from Metal Couch, signing off. <laughs>